Getting fired sucks. Let me tell you about it. Hey, thanks for watching. So today I'm going to talk about uh, recently I was fired from a job. And I'm going to talk about the ways in which it was done and maybe give you some better ideas on how to fire someone uh, to do it the most decent human way possible. Okay, so right off the bat, this was not a full-time job. On the side, in the evenings, I teach fitness classes. And I have been teaching this one particular class Wednesday evenings for about five years. And I was recently let go. So I'm not going to pretend that this is the same as losing a lifelong career or anything that you went to school for eight years or something to get. I realize that's not the same. But some of the lessons can be the same. And Monday morning, I got a call. And it was the guy from the center. And he just said, uh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Hmm, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, um, you can't do the job anymore. Um, you know, cutbacks, blah, 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 that kind of crap. I think he was not even going to let me come in, but I was just like, okay, so I can show up this week and at least say goodbye to the people. He's like, okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, here we go. It was a three minute, six second call. Three minutes, six seconds. Phone call. Been there five years. I don't know about you, but I don't think this is the best way to let somebody go. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to fire someone if you need to do that, if you're in that position. First, you can just Google how to fire someone. I came up with this great article. The, the number one thing on Google was a step-by-step -step guide to firing someone, and it's uh, printed in the Harvard Business Review. Well, that's a pretty good resource. So if you need to fire someone, follow these easy guidelines. It's not a big deal. It says, Run it by the jury first. So if you're going to let somebody go, why not talk to someone else in the office, one of your peers, and say, hey, is this the best way I should do it? Should I just give him a call at home and tell him he's done? Probably someone else might say, no, that's probably not the best way to do it. Their third suggestion is just take it step by step. Get right to the point. Well, this guy got to the point. Uh, he just called me up and said, yeah, the class is done. Um, budget cuts. When you're telling someone they're fired, here's some tips. Don't say, I understand how you feel. You don't. If you did, you wouldn't give them a call on the phone. Another tip, avoid justifications. You know, you should have known, blah, 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 that kind of thing. That's kind of a jerk move. Another tip, remember the golden rule. Is this the way that you would like to be fired? If not, why are you doing it to somebody else? Here's a tip from the article. Listen to what the employee has to say. Three minutes and six seconds, I don't think there was much listening <laughs> to what I had to say. Uh, frankly, I really didn't want to say much just because I was in shock. Here, cover everything essential by specific about what will happen next. Pay, benefits, unused vacation time, references, outplacement, explanation to coworkers, ongoing projects, etc. Yeah, that would have been nice. I think... Yeah, none of those things were covered in my phone call. Wrap it up gracefully. Yeah, it was wrapped up gracefully. Goodbye. Click. You know, here's the thing that really got me. I was okay with how it happened originally, and then I went to teach my final class. And there were ladies that have been coming to my class for five years, and they were really heartbroken and, and sad that the class was ending. And there were people that have been coming to my class regularly that weren't there on my final class, because I only had one class of warning. And they didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to them. I didn't get a chance to tell them where else I teach if they wanted to, you know, drive to a different part of town to check out one of my classes. That opportunity was taken away, and it didn't have to happen that way. I'm sure these budget cuts were known about. This could have been scheduled, you know, a month out, two weeks out. It's an awful thing to do. It's an awful way to fire someone. So my suggestion is if you're in a position where you have to let someone go, put yourself in their shoes. 
maybe talk to some people about the best way that you should approach the termination. And treat other people like you would want to be treated. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. If you have any comments, you can leave them below. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome day. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by clicking the like button and subscribing. Thanks.